Alright, so for the previous episode, I was probably all over the place because it was segments of me doing stuff. This is like lots of little segments put into one video. Basically, a, a kind of a, like a training montage, just missing Eye of the Tiger. Uh, and I also had to redo the segment several times. Kind of all over the place. For example, I think I, I discussed changing Allison like three times. I think I said I wanted to, and then I didn't, and then I ended up doing so because I ended up having to to replay since capturing Valor beginning. Um, anyways, I don't have the clone, Poltron, Honey Badger, or any of that stuff. Because I want to avoid having to deal with NPCs. MK1 calling AZ November. Come in November. Do you read me? Who is this? And how are you on our secure channel? I'm on your side, November. A friend of Saul's, if you know what I mean. And I know where you're headed. Now hear me out. When you get to where you're going, gas up at the garage first. I'll find you there and give you the sit rep. Now don't worry, you can't miss it. Where exactly do you think we're going? Now you know I can't say that on the air. Just keep heading where you're heading. MK1 out. <laughs> but if you want the honey badger, he's right here at the massacre site. You need 10 animal whisper to do it. You're the Desert Rangers, right? The ones the Patriarch made a deal with? Hey, <laughs> good to see you. Been hoping you'd show up. Patriarch's got a lot he wants done here, and we ain't got a lot of time to do it. Now here's the deal. Liberty Buchanan is sitting not 200 yards from here in her compound as we speak. But the way things stand, it would take a tactical nuke to crowbar her out. She's managed to make herself the queen of these heathens, the scar collectors, the payassos, and the last few Dorseys. Even the goddamn godfishers are licking her boots. Now there ain't no way even a crew as tough as you could fight their way in and bring her out alive like the Patriarch wants. But I got a plan. Wait, who are you? Nobody told you about me. Heh, <laughs> typical. I'm the mechanic. Now that means I fix things, right? For the gangs, it's cars, and they trust me because I fix them good. But my real job is fixing things for the Patriarch. Like putting sand in the gas tank of Liberty's coupe before it gets on the road. That's why he sent me out here. You get it? Can we get down to business now? How did you manage to survive when Liberty killed so many of Patriarch's other spies? <laughs> How do you think I gained her trust? You sent other spies at her deaths to secure your own position? That's despicable. Hey, I'm willing to be the bad guy if that's what the job calls for. Are you? Now, have I passed your little test? Glad to know you're here. We can use all the help we can get. Well, that's me. I'm here to give you the info you need to succeed. I'll be behind you the whole way. Great. What's the plan? Okay, okay, listen. The gangs may be loyal to Liberty, but they hate each other's guts. All you need to do is get each gang thinking the others are screwing them somehow, and this place will go up like an ammo dump in a firestorm. The payasos and the godfishers are ready to go at each other's throats. They just need a little nudge. As for the Scar Collectors, they're as like to turn on themselves as they are on anyone else. What I'd do is talk to their slaves. They've always got dirt on all the infighting. I got a key to the pen they're kept in as a, huh, a gift. Take it. See what you can find. Maybe turn them against each other. How about some info before we go? I can give you the broad strokes. But the nitty-gritty is up to you. Who do you want to know about? The Scar Collectors? The Payassos? The Godfishers? Everyone, but 
Why don't you start with the Scar Collectors? The biggest of the gangs, and the toughest. Slavers, body mod addicts, complete barbarians. Biggest weakness is, every one of those sons of bitches wants to be leader. So there's a lot of infighting. The boss right now is Steel Trap, who ousted Cordite. But he fights off challenges from his lieutenants every week, always looking over his shoulder. Maybe you can play on that somehow. Tell us about the Payasos. The weakest of the gangs. And boy, does that piss them off. They want to be taken seriously so bad, which is kind of funny since their whole thing is never taking anything seriously. Your friend dies, what a joke. Lose an arm, hilarious. But man, do they get hot when other gangs disrespect them. The head clown is a shrimp named Lecherito. Meanest little fucker I ever met. Always with the put downs and the insults. I think that's why they made him boss. Nobody could stand in the way of that mouth. Tell us about the Godfishers. Scariest of the bunch. They think they can talk to their sky gods by tying people's living torsos to kites and flying them up to the clouds. The other gangs, at least you understand why they're killing you. The godfishers, who fucking knows? So their leader, Star That Dreams, thinks he's a goddamn messiah. And he hates having to deal with the other gangs. The only reason he's with him is he thinks it's his best shot at getting revenge on the Patriarch. Otherwise, he'd make murder kites out of the other guys and ride into the sunset. You didn't mention the Dorseys. Ah, forget about the Dorseys. They're Liberty's personal bodyguards now. They never come out of the compound and they never deal with the other gangs. Except to execute some fool who tries something stupid. You're gonna have to fight the Dorseys no matter what. You just want them to be the only ones you fight, right? Where's the slave pen? Just outside the main compound. But use my key and go through the side entrance. Otherwise the gangs will see you and then the shit will hit the fan. Okay, we're good. We'll check it out. Good. Follow the racetrack north and you'll find the gang compound. Just don't get too close to the front gates. The sentries will attack anything that gets too close. Gleefully. And listen, if you need any ammo, weapons, or supplies, talk to me. I get paid in trade, so I got plenty of gear. Which way is the compound? Keep going the way you were going when you drove in. Chain link fence, big gate, guards, you can't miss it. Only, unless you want to get killed, you should miss it. So, any gear? Show us what you got. Ho, ho, ho. Just like Christmas. Alright, uh, this I like. We'll go ahead and snap up everything for now. He's got another Atom Smasher, but that's about it. I just want the scope and the Atom Smasher. There's a couple mods that I only have ever found one of. One of them was my magazine that gives me minus one AP to shoot. It might have been better to put it on a smaller weapon that uses less AP so that I can fire more often, because reducing it by one is better if you have fewer AP to begin with. What I mean is, let's say you have a gun that takes 12 AP. Reducing it by one, it's 11 AP now, you can still only fire once. If I have a gun that has four AP, I can fire it maybe twice, maybe three times. Reduce it down to three AP, and I can now suddenly fire it three to four times. I might have wanted to save that. The game did not like me opening two different things at once because now the game's frozen. I was trying to be efficient, but I just was more inefficient. Well, let's do a quick save and a quick load then. Loading didn't work. I actually had to exit the game entirely.
one stack several wrecked cars on top of them with a torque. Party on, Wayne. Are those people slaves? That... That's awful. This workbench is arrayed with every tool you could ever need to break down dead synths and robots. Then build new tanks for the soil coils. Toaster repair. Your toaster repair is at nine, and I believe I do have a book. Go and pop that in. Again, we're in the home stretch. I'm just gonna go and use it instead of taking the time to, to swap out the gear. I do have a toaster repair item. Bikini Heat 3 VHS. The cardboard slip cover of this VHS tape has been carefully stored for ages. The blonde locks on the female lead still glisten in the sun. Screenplay by Chopper Lang. Doors open. We're. Yeah, fuck it. It'll just catch us like always. Or even though I have the key, they'll automatically have the highest lockpick person over the door. How did it come to this? You think you got it back? Look, my eyes are see me. Maybe my own shit. Why then don't give it we a rise on up? A scale of one to ten. You think that's worse than the godfishers hanging you on the wind with all your insides hanging out? That hasn't happened to you, has it? Otherwise, you wouldn't be here talking to me. With the Godfishers, it could happen any day. Yesterday, my friend Virgil accidentally made eye contact with one of Star that Dreams' his wives, Zip. Half an hour later, he's a kite. At least you know what the rules are. With Lecherito, you never know what's right or what's wrong until he's clown shooing you in the testicles. Somebody coming. Who are you? So, if we had to choose between the Piasos and the Godfishers, which gang should we join? Neither. Yeah, neither. So they both suck? It's not that. It's that they hate each other so much, they're about an inch from wiping each other out. So who's at fault? Wait a minute. Hang on. You think just because we're slaves, we're going to hand out this kind of information for free? Yeah. I mean, basically, you're asking us how you can become our masters. We ought to get something for that. Well, they weren't too interested in freedom earlier, and I'm not going to bully them. What do you want? Uh, cash? A pack of coffin nails. A bottle of boars? I can do all of that. Here. Fuck yeah. Okay. What was your question again? So between Lecherito and Stars That Dreams, who's at fault? They both are. Lecherito's mad because the Godfishers don't take him seriously. And Star That Dreams is mad because he's pretty sure some of his wives are cheating on him with the Bayasos. He's more than sure. I saw the Godfishers fly a new kite the other day, 
and the body hanging from it had clown paint on the face. Maybe that's where Cucaracha went. Lecherito's been saying he thought Cucaracha ran off. But if he found out the Godfishers hung him on the wind... Who's Cucaracha? Lecherito's number two clown. The guy he hates least. Man, if this got out, shit would really hit the fan. Good to know, thanks. Sure. Thanks for helping us out. Good luck. Yeah, no problem. They're back. Whoever they are. What do you want now? We're the Rangers. Any more dirt for us? Nothing new. Yeah. Fresh out of dirt. Hi. Ah, they call me Stitches. I'm what passes for a doctor around here. You need some stitching? You pass for a doctor? I, uh, was an assistant to a doctor. I watched her cut a lot of legs off, so I know what I'm doing. Mostly. Why do you heal the people who enslave you? Duh, because they'll kill me if I don't. <laughs> you got a head wound or something? What do you charge? If you're in one of the gangs, it's free. <laughs> That's what being a slave is all about. But slaves and outsiders gotta pay. Not right now, thanks. Okay, I'll be here. I mean, where would I go? These are the sum total of the slaves' belongings. The slave turns at the sound of your footsteps, and you see that he's blind. Blades are almost ready, masters. I just need... He pauses, then sniffs the air. You're not the masters. Too clean smelling. Who are you? We're the Desert Rangers, here to take down the gangs. Who are you? <laughs> Good one. Good one. Who are you, really? Just passing through. Who are you? They call me Whetstone now. It used to be boss slave at the company store, but I lost my eyes. <laughs> now, I make blades for the masters. Anything we should know about Steel Trap if we want to get in good with the Scar Collectors? <laughs> don't make fun of him. And don't make him jealous. Or you'll end up disappeared like Cordite and... D sharp. Steel Trap made Cordite disappear? He always says Cordite ran away, but I was working at the company store the night he disappeared, and I saw him put something in Cordite's drink. Shanghai, for sure. That's why I lost my eyes. The Steel Trap said I should stop seeing things. Who is D sharp? She used to run the company store, uh, the bar where the overseers drink. I sang there too. Funny songs about Steel Trap sometimes. It, it, he didn't like that. Didn't like that the boys all laughed. So one night, poof, she's gone. Told the SCs she ran away, just like Cordite. But I still had my ears. I heard Steel Trap come into the bar, and I heard him drag her out. <sighs> Don't know what he did with her, but she didn't just run away. Do the other Scar Collectors know Steel Trap took D? You kidding? They cut him up for jerky if they knew. Everybody loved D. Searched for her for weeks. They swore vengeance on, on whoever took her. Never found her, though. He must have buried her deep. Did you tell anyone about these deduction? Not any scar collectors. <laughs> Don't want to lose my ears, too. Can we buy any of your blades? Not supposed to, but... He pauses, <laughs> sniffs the wind, then leans in. Steel Trap says I'm only supposed to sell to the Scar Collectors, but he's a bad master, so why not? Let's see what you have for sale. All right, <laughs> just keep an eye out while you're looking, okay? We'll do with the bigger threat first, the Scar Collectors. This 
place reminds me of that space station drawing from the Patriarch's Museum. So, the reason I have Martian Quant equipped with this, this is an assault weapon that takes two AP. It's the only one I can find. And it's one of the reasons why I was thinking that maybe I should not have put the, on this Eliminator this magazine. I've only ever found one of them. And I was thinking, like, you know, normally I just save things to the end of the game and never end up using them. So, no, no, I was thinking, no, no, I should, I should totally use it. I've never found another one. Uh, there's, there's a couple of them that I've never actually found multiple ones of. This purple one, as well as... This purple, this purple one. Some of the cylinders you can buy more than once if you clean out the store, and I think I bought at most two things. I, I think I bought like a two cold ones, and I put a cold one on the Ripper. So she's got a a weapon here that that as, as a self defense weapon basically, because from the beginning of the game I had a long range weapon and a short range weapon. Things like assault rifles have less accuracy at at at, at close range. So at that time. I really relied on having two different kinds of weapons, though these days my characters have enough accuracy, it doesn't seem to matter too much. Anyways, uh, this is a crossbow bolt with pathetic, pathetic damage compared to the weapons I've got now, but I use this, or or I plan to use it, I haven't fired it yet, to build up Precision Strike, because he can he can build this two times faster than he can with this PDW. Not sure if it's worth it, I might really be better off using his extra skill points to build up explosives. So that his PDW does more damage, and he can put a rocket launcher in his other other slot. So that, that might really be what I should be doing. But for now, let's go ahead and find out how much damage this thing can do. So we'll want to pick someone we can stun, like this guy right here. So we're gonna hit him. Not in range. What's my range of that? Okay, now he's got he's got the debuff explosive bolt she's gonna blow, one turn remaining. So it's gonna take a turn before it can do anything. So in the meantime, we're actually going to stun him, and we're gonna see how much damage this bolt does. It might be completely pathetic. None of shotgun blasts do not count for my multi kill or something. D sharp, but definitely don't want to blow up that barrel.
see what an explosive bolt does if I uh, precision strike with it. He's got two bolts on him. Let's see if anything happens. Goodbye, Allison. But she's no longer a medical marvel. She's now a Varigan blood or whatever, where where other characters will, or, or if other characters fall, she will get stronger. Seventy-five damage. I don't know what the other guy's got, but it's probably also about seventy-five. Yeah, he has lost a total of two hundred fifty. So yeah, it, it's not really worth it. As, uh, except for except for building up strike. Uh, I, again, I might literally be better off putting on the rocket launcher. He's got 11 AP. If I fire at him. An interesting thought is, I can actually, actually unequip his PDW and give it to somebody else. They just have to reload it though. Yo, Mocking J first. Then we'll heal you, because you're closer to the front line. Am I not allowed to heal you a diagonal? Fine. Get rid of this bear thing. Oh, that's not actually what I intended to do, but all right. If he wasn't in the battle before, he is now. Oh, come on. You can revive her now. The AP user revive seems to vary it, but it probably just takes up to that amount. Thanks. Thought I was done there for a sec. There's a dude right there. He has not been doing anything. Have I been stunning him this whole I don't think I've been stunning them this whole time. Holy shit. Who the hell are you guys? Whoa. Nice work wrecking the guards. Who are you guys? This woman doesn't look like the other slaves in the mine. She has the tattoos, scars, and shoddy implants of a scar collector. Might be the missing singer, Whetstone Ninja. We're the Desert Rangers. Ah, the new cops on the block. Well, I usually don't like cops, but I ain't gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. Thanks for the rescue. What is this place? Steel Traps Tech Mine. It's supposed to be a crashed satellite or something. Anyway, it's filled with old tech stuff. Some of it's worth cash, most of it's trash, but when you got slaves digging it out for you, it ain't hard making a profit, right? Are you D-Sharp? That's me. Used to call myself D-Sharp Singer. Now, I guess I'm D-Sharp Minor. <laughs> Please tell me that your name or character was not invented just to make that joke. 
Uh, that's a joke. Get it? Most amusing, I'm sure. We heard Steel Trap had it out for you. Is that how you ended up here? That fucking fuck. There I was, minding my own business, running the company store, singing the hits and slinging the schlitz, when he decides he doesn't like one of my songs and kidnaps me. Puts me to work digging for tech in this death trap hellhole. What was your song about? Steel Trap. I rhymed slimy skunk with uh, rusty junk and whiny bleeder with world's worst leader. You know, subtle, lots of hidden meaning. Steel Trap is a bad leader? She's all talk. We're the toughest gang in the wastes. Yeah, well, no thanks to him. All he does is kill SCs who aren't loyal to him. And now he's kissing this Buchanan bitch's ass, hoping she'll feed him scraps when she takes down her daddy. Loser. How did you come to run the company store? Run it? I started it. Wherever the SCs go, they want sex, drugs, and rock and roll. So I decided I'd provide. Got an old bus, a still, some girls, some boys, a band, and put the waste first traveling juke joint on the road. This doesn't sound like she'd be a bad merchant, except she works as a scar collector, which are, again, a, a raving band of lunatics who are killing everybody. When the gang camps, we set up in whatever shack we can find and let the good times roll. Made me money, made the SCs happy. But with Steel Trap in charge, the gang has less to spend and they're always pissed off. He's cost me money and staff and goodwill. He's gotta go. Did you know that Cutter Throat has been running the company store since you've been gone? Yeah. My guards tortured me with that fucking no talent skank. I wouldn't hire her to clean a fucking latrine. And now she's the boss? And she's singing? <sighs> she's going down. Permanently. Did you know that Scar Collectors have looked for you for weeks after you disappeared and swore vengeance upon your kidnapper? The guards here thought that was hilarious. Telling me how the boys had all gone hunting for me. They'd say, if only they knew Steel Trap hid you right under their noses, they'd carve him up in a hot second. And I thought, well... Someday, I'm going to tell him. So, if we were planning to mess with Steel Trap, would you want in? Goddamn right I would. That motherfucker has it coming. But I got another score to settle first. If you don't mind. As long as you help us with Steel Trap. Count on it. But first, I got to pay a visit to the company store. Time to take back what's mine. Meet me over there. Man habitat. These control panels look like they could steer a ship or a flying ship based on the three axes in the display. I don't know if I'll get any XP for this. Probably not. I did. Even though I didn't say there's a skill check. I know there's another door, but let's follow her for a bit. That does not look like a reputable establishment. Oh, forgot what outside smelled like. So good. There you are. Listen, I thought I was up for helping you fight Cutter, but turns out slaving nonstop in steel traps mine is kind of 
taking it out of me. <sighs> I'm as weak as a prairie dog. If you want my help, maybe you could take her out first. You want more help? Now let's talk about Steel Trap first. Any ideas for bringing him down? All right, fine. Let's talk. And now that you mention it, maybe I do have an idea. I didn't believe what the guards told me about the boys missing me and swearing to kill whoever took me. But now that you told me the same thing, well, I've been thinking about making a play for Steel Trap Spot even before, but when I heard the guards talking, I thought, if I ever get out of there, I might just have the support to give it a try. Maybe it's time to find out. Yeah. All right, we're ready. Sure. After you take care of Cutterthroat, right? Are you ready for that? We need some time to get ready. Well, don't take too long. This bitch needs to be dead. Like yesterday. Hurry back. Look at all that blood. Someone was attacked. These are shattered cyborg limbs and signs of struggle in the snow. Whoever was jumped here put up a hell of a fight. Old blood and drag marks lead northwest. Is this proof of Dee's kidnapping? Seriously, the scar collectors could not have found her? Uh, fuck off! Can't you see we're closed? Oh boy, did you pick the wrong door to walk through. This is a private club, Lemos. Scar collectors only. Everybody else gets the axe. Hey boys, 86 this trash. I like your hand. Bring the pain. Well, there goes my team. I like that Logan's basically invincible. <laughs> Dying. Fascinating. <laughs> the only one I have to worry about is Major Tomcat now. <laughs> All right. Well, now I know. Uh, shoot from a distance. Do not run into the bar. <laughs> if it wasn't for the fact that I've been stacking so much damage resistance on Logan, I would have died. Let me take a look at him. Energy resistance is 85%, but evasion is at 63%. Add the cover, which is 20%. He, he dodges 83% of all shots. All right, well, let's start reviving people. Too bad I can't nitro spike this. Which is only 100 damage. Yeah, I, I'm better off just punching him. Done. I should have revived Baba Yaga. Well, Baba Yaga probably wouldn't have been able to reach anyways. Who should I revive? Probably Allison. Stay focused. That counts as a multi-kill, apparently, so that's good enough for me. Um, he's got... Bleeding. Chills. Then one we'll for my Marshall Kwan. They still got AP, Keep so we'll revive Lucia. Alright, team is back on their feet. Leader multi-kill again. Oh. Uh, it doesn't doesn't do a super stack though. All right, uh, let's see here. Well, that, that that was kind of, not distressing, but that was definitely a rough start.
cold. Yeah, she, I think she just doubled her hit points when the mark happened. Hello, stag. Much obliged. Oh, come on. I want to use my stormer ability, game. I guess I do have auto intern enabled, but which is good for the most part. still get Stormer. I wonder if she'll get another Stormer after I uh, run. We'll find out. Does is, is she really have 95% with... Hmm. Okay, well, let's try running over here and see if I get another Stormer. Nope. Only get one a turn. I got it from last round. Yeah, it's 95 percent. was frozen there for a second. Not frozen, but the game wasn't moving the mouse cursor with me in. Don't even try. Okay, charged up. You need to charge. It's a good trick shot. No, I can't. I selected this. I 100% selected that. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, injury kit. Re equip that. Injury kit. Injury kit. That was pretty. That was really rough. Huh. Let's shut her up. Finally. But I can't make my play for Steel Trap spot. Till all his goons are cleared out of the mines. <laughs> Don't want to be fighting on two fronts. Help me out, yeah? Always something with you. Finish clearing Steel Trap's goons out of the mine? Still working on it. Well, keep me posted. Not gonna relax until they're dead. I never thought I'd say this, but damn, I've missed this rocket fuel hooch. Fusion launcher, which you already have. I think I've like three of those. Plasma grenade, I like it. Don't think we need a whole box just to house one, though. These ruins don't look like they were built on the ground. More like they were embedded here, there after falling from a great height. Yeesh.
going to leave Mockingjay and Lucia up here. Actually, no, we'll leave uh, Allison Mockingjay up here. Everyone else, come with me. I can just get you all selected. Apparently they saw me. Oh wait, what? Why are you? Oh, I bet. To... Fine, whatever game. Uh, so I don't get to do any. Uh, well, half my characters cannot move. At least I get to fire another rocket, maybe. Yeah, only two AP to reload that. Oh, I don't want to blow up the computer. That'd be bad. That's not really worth it for in battle. That's just good for a sneak attack. Oh, he's dead. Wait, no, he's not. That was someone else. <laughs> all right, all right. Why can't you throw there? That's why he left Allison up there, so she could hack one and Mockingjay and Allison would take care of the other. It did not really intend for them to start running through the ramp, but alright. Well, I, I, I will I will manage. fusion turret. Sure, why not? I will say that even with that accent, I ended up with more health now than I had before <laughs> because of my first aid ability. Uh, what 
Okay, Lyshenko. Today only we speak American, yes? We practice for glorious invasion. Nah, Shotsky. I mean, yes. When great day comes, no one will be knowing. We are not good old American boys. <laughs> oh, I start, okay? <clears throat> Hello to you, friend. I would like hot dog, if you please. Of course, pal. One hot dog to be coming up. Would like eating fried potatoes as well? Thank you. What kind of American am I if I'm not liking fried potatoes? It is best, yes? Yes, yes, it is best. It is... Uh, Lyshenkov, are you hearing beeping? Like... Altitude meter? Oh, boy, Shotsky. This is not being typical American conversation. Ask me about uh, my picking up truck. No, Lashenko. I think there is a problem. We can't Is that a security terminal there? How are you glued to the wall? Console screen flickers weakly. All its readouts and commands are in Cyrillic lettering. Use a rootkit to examine the terminal source code. With a few keystrokes, you gain access to the source code and discover a masked program labeled Audric Ames.exe. It appears to be a front end for use by Soviet agents working in the United States. As the software boots, the screen changes from grim yellow text to red, white, and blue, complete with animated American flag. The command prompt appears again in English. The screen offers access to the automated security system and the logs of Podpokovnik Gagarin, station commander. Type in 2 and examine the station's logs. Station log, Bopog Kovnik, Gagarin recording. Earth rise was especially beautiful today. We continue to monitor that the construction of the Citadel Star Station is ordered. The project is dangerously close to completion. Those NATO pigs will have far too much power if it becomes fully operational. Soviet command's plan to remove it will become clear, I am sure. The Citadel Star Station is gone. Our telemetry picked up a meteor shower and they did nothing to move out of the way. I know the Americans and our capitalist cronies and NATO were stupid, but this is beyond belief. They just sat there and allowed the most powerful piece of technology in orbit to be obliterated. <sighs> Waiting orders. It has happened. Nuclear war. The Americans have no doubt blamed us for Citadel Star Station. Those fools. They've ended the world. Such hubris. We can see the contrails of the ICBMs flying from the motherland to North America and Europe. Hundreds of bright white lines drawing across the sky below and... Dear God, just as many flying back to home. We will not float idly above and watch our homeland burn. We will inflict a strike on the Americans ourselves. The body of this station will come crashing down on Nora and demolish the last refuge for the capitalist oligarchy. Das Vidanya Tovarovsky. We have failed. A missile launched directly from Cayenne Mountain caught us on our final burn. We have no propulsion and will crash off target in but a few seconds. My only satisfaction comes from knowing that America is burned and gutted. Nothing will survive here. Nothing. Type in 1 to recalibrate the station's security drone targeting to protect current user. As the targeting protocols execute, doors around the room open, revealing several deadly looking security drones. Both seem uninterested in you, but one moves close and seems to follow your movements. Now, it's probably nothing like Animal Whisperer, but I figure we'll have the robot follow the nerd stuff person. Computer banks in this section are still receiving auxiliary power from somewhere. All the text is in Cyrillic lettering. This 
place looks more like a building than a mine, but everything is topsy-turvy. These cots are riveted to the walls. strike because I don't have enough AP. Uh, I guess if I kill somebody, I should get enough AP. Oh, I didn't have the Stormer thing equipped. Oh well, whatever. Sometimes it just does not activate. This is some kind of commie thing, right? This looks like some kind of Soviet symbol. The Gippers would not be pleased. Why did... I'm clicking on this. I don't... The lab equipment is adhered to the table like someone was worried it would go flying. For some reason the game thinks Mockingjay is the lab equipment now? I don't know. Wow, that's really hard to see. If it didn't... if, it, if I didn't... If it wasn't flashing, I wouldn't have seen it at all. Picking and Soviet security pass. Open it. Well, this place makes a lot more sense now. Finish clearing steel traps goons out of the mine? Yep. They won't be bothering you. Rock on! Here's a little something for you. I'll get on the horn and rally the troops right now. Scar Collectors, D-Sharp is back from the dead and better than ever. Now, I've been hearing old Tin Teeth told you I ran away. Bullshit! He goddamn dry gulched me. And you know where I've been all this time? Slavin' in his hellhole tech mine! Anyhow, I heard y'all missed me, so I'm gonna throw y'all a party in the camp, but I need you to help me make the place festive first. That's right, scar collectors. When I get there, I wanna see that coward steel trap's head on a plate! Ow! Holy shit, it's D. I knew that asshole was lying about her leaving. <sighs> Steel Trap is gonna pay for this shit. We want D! We want D! You bitch! Who the hell let you out? I'm gonna bury you this time! Rancid, give me my big gun! No, the big one! You ain't got a gun big enough to fix this, you rust-faced motherfucker. I'm coming for you! I'm gonna sing you your last song! Thanks for the help, friends. It's good to be running this joint again. 
few new blood stains, but that just gives the place care. Well, a few new blood stains. Never thought I'd say this, but. All right, I'm gonna make a save. I'm gonna eliminate D Sharp. He's a scar collector, and scar collectors are the bad guys. <laughs> and this might be the wrong thing to do, but. Yeah, I mean, she has a name and she's helping with Steel Trap, but it's a power play. Our interests align for the moment. Taking the shot. If our paths had crossed any other time, she probably would have attacked us. If she runs into people from Colorado Springs, she'd be killing them and turning any survivors into slaves. Since Quan and the others didn't seem to have a problem with it, I guess it's alright. slugs. I'm gonna rip D's throat out. That canary won't sing another fucking note. Not a chance, Steel Trap, you piece of shit. You don't deserve to call yourself a Scar Collector! Okay, I'm surprised someone survived, but you know what? We'll make sure that nobody tells the tale. Man's cataract white eyes stay low as his head swivels at your approach. Care to look at some of my blade work? Nothing right now, so long. Stay sharp, masters! Alright, so that's one clan. Now we'll deal with the other two. Let's see if the mechanic has anything to say. Good job getting the scar collectors fighting each other. I saw the fireworks from here. That just leaves the payasos and the godfishers. See you later. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs>